Okay, trying this again because Bug Cup hit a key on my keyboard and it stopped my video. Okay, let's try this again. Today is Friday, August the 23rd of 2019, and it is plus two number 1717. And um, the sun is shining, it is nice and cool out. And the temperature is like 70 de degrees. And I walked up to McDonald's, got me some lunch. And then I walked back home because McDonald's is only a block away. So, <laughs> a little bit too convenient. So, I hope Buttercup will stay in the other room until I get this video done. Um... I have some whips and I have a haul to show you and I only have two whips to show you because I haven't done my testing lately so so I got two whips and then I got a little bit of a haul so <coughs> with that in mind I will show you my heaven and earth design pattern my progress and I'm not going to take it out of the cheese net <coughs> cheese net because I <coughs> excuse me because I just got put back in the cheese naps but here's what it's going to look like so actually I am right there Right where that yellow flower is at, I started, I started like on the very end of the yellow flower. I'm working my way this way. And actually, I got her, her wing done on this side too. So, so her, her wing is done. And I started on the yellow flowers. And above the yellow flowers is like a, bird or butterfly something I can't tell so her her face and part of her neck is done her wings are done and started on the yellow flower on this side of her so basically I just got the outer edging to do and the rest of her arm and her gown, I call her gown, and then the bottom part of this, and then I'll be done. But there are tons and tons of confetti testing in this. So, and I gotta do, and it's in the round, just like it is here in the photo. And so I gotta do one square at a time and I'm going straight down on the you know on the columns so I don't mess up so I'm on page 10 out of 36 pages so and and that whole thing is it's all this, this whole thing is all stitched all the way around and the outer border of this, it's all confetti. All of it. I'll, I'll be kind of glad when I get this done. So basically, this is my only heaven and earth design that I'm working on. Basically, not working on any, any other one. Well, I am, but not very much. So here is my progress on her so this part right here at the top part of her arm this is her wing and then right here at the beginning of, her, of the flower and then when I I'm working down this way so when I get the next couple of squares going to be the start of her hand so I'm so excited so, 
So the yellow flower going to go out this way. And then her hand is kind of like right through this area right here. And then the bird is up above here. So. And then. I don't know. Hang on a minute. You can see part of it, but kind of winkly because I, the way I got in the cute net. But that's that. That's her other wing. So this is page ten, and page ten ends. Get my thread out of the way here. Page 10 ends right here. So, goes all the way down. So, when I get in the very last column of this, this is page 10. So, that would be the end of my page 10. Then, page 11 goes over this way. And then, that would be it for this middle section, this whole section. So, page 11 would be the last page I do for the middle section. And then I just got like the bottom half, the two bottom half to do. And for those who don't know, these are my waist knot threads. So you make a knot on top of your fabric, and and uh, you what you do is that when you when you get done stitching with the one thread, you uh. Bring it over on the other side of your grill line, and then you make like a slip knot on top of your fabric, and and then you know you cut your the rest of your thread off, and you just leave about you know about this much of it, about that much of it, and and then what well, then while well, you're but. You don't want to cut these off until you have stitched over them on the back side. So. So this, the yellow, my part, my set, my square that I got done is just yellow right here. That's my little square that I got done. So this little square is yellow too. Part yellow, part, you know, tan, creamy color. And then the rest of it is going to be probably the, the rest of this color right here. This is done on 18 count Ada Charles Craft 2 over 1. So that is Daisy Offering by Heaven and Earth Design. And the artist is Sandra Cup K D C K. So that's my heaven and earth design project. And then my other project is a marabilia design. And I will show you the picture of it. Here's what it's going to look like when it's done. And I am stitching the top, the, actually I'm stitching this part of the moon above her head. From here on over and then down. So that's the part that, that I'm stitching. And I got the top. I got the darker colored border. I got that done now. So, there isn't that much more to do because I got the work of it done. And when I get done stitching it, then I have to add the beads. And by Marabella Design, Nora, Cor Nora Adams Corbett. And here is my progress. In the right direction here.
So that's what I got done. So the section that I'm working on is this right here. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Can I get hold of this? This section right here is where I'm working at. And then I'm going right straight over above her uh, hair. And then I got this part done. So I do a little bit of this, of the purple, and then I do a little bit of the, of the moon. So. And I got some beading done. So, and this is, whoops, join the back side. Ah! No one see my back side. I'm doing this on 28 count um, Lugana. The fabric color is Isold. I S O L D E, and it's by uh, and it's hand dyed by Stephanie. And I'm doing it two over two. So I'm almost done. So I think my project for today is going to be working on the moon. That's a kind of boring. But when I, I'll be glad though when I get this done though. So, and then when I get this one done. Then I'm gonna start another Mirabilia and it's um the Raven Queen. And it is so neat. I am in love with the Raven Queen uh, pattern. And I'm gonna do I'm too gonna do mine on white because she as mostly she's mostly uh her outfit is black. And then there's like a uh Pillars going all the way around her, and that's done in gray and black as well. So, I'm still gonna do mine just on plain white, and I'm gonna do it on um, probably 28 count because I do love working with 28 count. <coughs> 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 and I do like 14 count too, but when it comes to like mirror mirror designs and stuff like that, pattern like that, then I like to do the work, work on 28 count. My cat is being crazy. He is showing off at is what, is what he's doing. And he's two years old. Okay. My haul that I got for this week. <coughs> I ordered me a stitching accessory bag. Here's the fun of it. Of course, you can see my stuff. Okay. There you go. That's the fun of it. And then here is the back of it. As Woodstock and Snoopy. Because those are my two favorite characters. Woodstock and Snoopy. And then then the inside of it is has like excess material. Has a little excess on it. And it's yellow. I love this bag. I love this bag. And it's uh, made by Mama Joan, and she has an Etsy shop on Etsy. So if you just type in made by Mama Joan, then it'll come up. And she also has a uh, project bag that goes along with this. 
that you can keep your project in. So I'm hoping it does not get sold because I would really love to have it. So, so I'll go with this. And I love this bag. I'm so in love with it. And it's well handmade. Because you make your own bags. And they sell fast. So if you want one, one of her, you know, one of these or one of her project bags, then get on her Etsy site. And then you can see what she has been making and what she has for sale. Because they sell really fast. They don't last long. And I took the last one of this. Of this one. With the Woodstock and Snoopy on it. So I got it just in time because this was the last one. And there's four other people that had this particular one in their cart. And so I hurried up and grabbed it and I bought it. <laughs> so that's my favorite Tishing and Six movie bag and I use it all the time. I just love it. That was my present for... That was an early birthday present for myself because my birthday is in December. So I got an early birthday present. And then I ordered two cards from Heaven and Earth Design. And one is a called Rainbow Dancer Unicorn. Request a size Mac colors, and the artwork is by Rose Khan, K H A N, and of course it's designed by Michelle Say Yady of Heaven and Earth Designs. And this huh, this has two hundred and thirty eight colors in it. So, and this is our print now. You cannot buy the glare. I hate the glare. You, okay, we're going to do it this way then. You cannot buy this chart anymore. He, uh, she retired all of her charts and and I love unicorns so I just had to have this one so that's one well, another of my favorites and then another one that I bought from Heaven and Earth Designs and called the Amazing Animal Kingdom, and the artwork is by Amy Stewart, and it has ninety colors in it. And that's what it looked like. I love this one because I'm an animal lover and I'm a book lover. So this has this has animals in it. It has like a forest in it. It has books throughout the whole um, pattern. It has a whale. You know all kinds of animals. So when I saw this, I just had to have it. And there's another pattern on Heaven and Earth Design website. And it's a 295 page pattern. And the name of it, hang on, and the name of it is called Garden of Earthly Delights. And it's a S S and and MC both. Um, I'm gonna sneak in a minute, I think. <coughs> Excuse me. 
and it's a 295 page pattern and so the price on that is $55 for a hard copy so I am going to be ordering this very very soon because I want to challenge myself because I love complicated you know complicated challenging patterns so I'm going to order this and I don't want to do it on any count higher than 28 because I don't count my eyes. So I mean 25 count. I don't want to do like 32, 40, you know, that type of count. So my highest will be uh, 28. So I will probably do this on 25 count or 28 count. I haven't decided yet. But yeah, I'm and and it's a uh, the pattern goes this way and it's like three scenes and it has garden stuff and little like rabbits and that type of animals in it. And it's a super size matte color. So I ain't going to be ordering that because I do want to challenge myself. And and I probably am crazy for doing it, but I love to challenge myself and I love big complicated patterns. So well, I am going on 21 minutes. Well, now 22 minutes. And it'll probably take me all ap afternoon to upload that because the uploading is, uh, takes so long. So, I will talk to you all later. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for taking the time to watch my video. And, you know, and I appreciate each and every one of you. So, I will see you in my next video, which hopefully will be next Friday. Because as far as I know, I'm not doing nothing next Friday. So, hopefully I can make a, my 18th video next Friday. So, I will see you all in my next video. Bye.